Yes, you're looking at the Scientific Audiophiles Desktop Reference System, an Atom T5V, a Dell XPS, the beautiful RME ADI2 DAC, and... Wait a second, what's that doing here? That can only mean deathmatch. Death matches are exceedingly rare. There is no shame in losing a death match as you're only here because you're exceedingly good at what you do. But the loser does die, so that's bad. The loser will be buried in my audiophile graveyard back in the woods behind my house, where the town has argued isn't even my property and bearing electronics is also illegal. I've told them very diplomatically, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. Now to enter my desktop reference system, there is a rating system. It's not winner take all in each category. Each product can get up to the total value of that rating. Then using science, we add up the totals and declare a winner. So the rating system starts out with a name. Yes, a name. The Atom T5V, not a good name. The Cali LPUNF, a worse name. When a company decides to do a calibration speaker with me, we're going to name the speaker something cool, like the Titan SA. The SA, of course, referring to scientific audiophile. I will award the Adam zero points and the Cali zero points. Both names were terrible. Looks are worth 10 points. Oh yes, looks matter in my home theater reference system where I can hide the front speakers behind my acoustically transparent screen, they don't matter. But in my stereo and desktop systems where I will be staring at them all the time, I'm not afraid to admit that looks do matter. And looks matter to you, the viewer, as well as to every single person on this earth. Can I feel your face? Oh, look at the time. I forgot I have a, a thing. The Atom Audio's clean black plastic front versus the Cali's clean black plastic front. These are not nice lookers. How nice would a burnt orange woofer cone look with a glossy black exterior? But that's a collaboration that one of these companies may bring to the table if they decide to work with me and dominate the entire desktop speaker market. Both of these speakers are about as ugly as my smile. Adam is awarded five points and I'm giving the Cali two. Interface design's worth 10 points. Just how in the world are you going to change the volume on the Adams while sitting at your desk? There's no indent on the volume to know for sure you're exactly on zero dBs or any other setting. If you don't want to level match your speakers with an SPL meter, you just have to crank them all the way up to plus 18 dB. The Callies don't just have a front volume control, but since the primary speakers controls the volume as well as Bluetooth and other inputs, you're always set with any changes you want to make, and the levels are always matched because the primary speaker controls the secondary. So while the Atoms have plus minus switches on the back that make it a little bit easier than the Cali's little small dip switches to change some settings, the Cali has so many more options. The Atom T5V is awarded three points for interface and the Cali LPUNFs are given four points. Bluetooth. I'm not gonna lie, there are times when the computer is off and I just wanna listen to some music while sitting at my desk playing Wordle. The Atoms don't have Bluetooth and the Cali implementation is rock solid. The Atoms obviously get zero points and the Cali's get three they lose two points for requiring you to use your phone to defeat Bluetooth instead of being able to do it on the speakers themselves. Size is five points and we're talking about desktop speakers where smaller is better. Atoms are just a little bit big. Look at the two, giving them two points and the Callies, they'll get three points. Price. $299 is what you get for a pair of Cali LPUNFs. 
that's $100 less than a pair of Adam T5Vs. Since my father buys everything, I really don't care about price. So this section was rated by him. So dad, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate a $300 product compared to a $400 product? Will somebody stop him from spending all my money on audio equipment? I need my medicine. Okay, Dad, that was really selfish of you. People are trying to make a decision here, and you're, you just care about yourself. It's disgusting. Well, sadly, because my dad can't come up with a good rating, we're going to have to leave this rating up to you. So for the death match, it's going to be 0-0. Zero, zero. Frequency response is a whopping 60 points. It's like catching the snitch in Harry Potter world. It's possible to win the whole competition if you crush this category and your competition does poorly. But you wouldn't be in this death match in the first place if your frequency response is terrible. So let's see how each speaker does. This rating is best done by simply overlaying their responses in my room at one feet from the mic. That's why this graph is slightly different from the one I did on the Callies earlier. So this is my room using Roo and you can see below 80 hertz we do drop off significantly. If you're gonna use this below 80 hertz um, in your room, get a subwoofer. I like the increase in the Cali here. The Cali is in green, and I like this a lot more. The nice boost in bass. They both level off nicely and very similar all the way until we get to this very odd situation right about here where there is definitely some type of shelving going on where the Atom Audio is boosting the treble above 4.5 thousand, 4,500 hertz. And don't really love that. It's just too bright for me. So I used to just EQ that down, but we're gonna talk about EQ in a second. So those are the FR responses. The fact is that both of these speakers can be EQ'd to your liking, but I'm not awarding any points for EQ, just out-of-the-box performance. The Adams received 42 points and the Callies being ever so slightly better without that little bump over 5 kilohertz, they get 45 points. Power capabilities worth 20 points. This test is based purely on sound pressure level. The Callies even say they are only designed to go to a max 103 dB. The Atoms are bigger, they're louder, and they can max out at 108 dB at 0.8 meters. Enough said. Adam gets 17 out of possible 20 points, and the Cali gets 12. Dynamics. 20 points. It's simple. I found the one track with the most dynamics I could find. Then I did my listening blindfolded. After hours of back and forth between the two, I finally picked the winner. Now these testing procedures were recorded, so take a look at how my blind testing worked. I know what you're thinking. Doesn't he know what speakers he's using since he is the one doing the switching? Well, if you understood science and also understood how drunk I am right now, you'd know I have no recollection of the speaker I just switched to. Therefore, this test was even more blind than a double blind test, making it the most scientific of any test. Within their individual power capabilities, the Callies under 95 dB, I thought they were both excellent and dynamics. Both of their built-in amps are very capable of handling these speakers at their outputs. Adam gets 17 and Cali gets 17. So we're tied at 86 each and ties go to the current champion, right? Wrong. My infinite rating system does not allow for ties. One product is always better or worse than another. So I needed a tiebreaker because they were tied. And I was granted the perfect tiebreaker. I was testing the soon to be released FX Audio DR07, which does not have balanced outputs. After my headphone testing, I moved on to the speaker testing phase. Now I have golden ears, so I'm curious if you are capable of hearing the following 
please comment if you can. Hear the difference between the Adams and the Callies with a non-balanced RCA input. Here's what I recorded. Please listen carefully. And that's with the Dell computer not powered up. Let's put the power into the Dell computer to send it even more AC interference. Take the cable out. Let's put it into the Cali. There you go. Big difference. Sure, an amazing pair of RCA cables might, should I say, just might eliminate the issue of electrical noise interference. Though I tried three different pairs with no effect. And even a great pair of RCA cables may not eliminate that interference completely. And yes, balanced cables do completely eliminate all interference. But for a pair of speakers that will be sitting on my desktop reference system, used for testing products that will not all have balanced outputs, for me, this is the tiebreaker. The Callies are simply better at dealing with unbalanced cable noise. It's entirely true my selfish father probably saved money using a cheap electrician putting my office together. But don't blame him entirely. Actually, I'll correct myself. Blame the cheap bastard. So the Callies win the death match, not with a KO, but with a TKO. Now, if I had a slightly larger workspace and a great DAC with balanced outputs, I would choose the Atom Audio T5V. But then again, the Cali LP6s might fit the bill better since their larger six and a half inch woofer should go deeper than the T5Vs and they cost the same. But that's another story. Thanks for watching this edition of the Scientific Audiophile. Please like, subscribe, and be sure you're notified when another Scientific Audiophile video drops.